Africa, we please leave my windshield. Thank you. We we own drill music in Africa, and we are supposed to pay Nigerians who are also adapting the same drill they adapted without anybody's permission. Are supposed to pay some sort of tax. I don't want to. I want to call it the narrative tax, where we say, okay, we're doing this, but you know, the Ghanaians also did it, or they did it first. You guys didn't get any permission from Africa while you were trying to create this from the Americans, rather. You guys didn't go to Chicago to go submit an application to say, oh my God, we're doing this. Then all of a sudden, you guys want us to Nigerians making drill music to come pay obeisance to you to you people and say, oh, you guys did it first. First of all, let's be honest. Your thug and soiree, that song did not get into this market on a mainstream level. Yeah, it did in music enthusiastic spaces, in spaces where industry people are gathered. But the random guy on the street, wake up and tell him, uh, your thug. And I don't ask you, who's this person? Nigerians are overstimulated. They are hyper-informed. They are deeply consumerist in a society that continues to push music down to them and we don't even know how to process the music coming out of here because we're sponges we're sponges we're fusing everything we're creating new arts we're creating everything and somehow we should come pay narrative tax to ghana because we found a way to or we're trying to adapt something that came from chicago found its way to the uk and now it's in africa South Africans have done hip hop for so long. They've become the most dominant. They, at some point, they were the most dominant hip hop culture on the continent. You would never see them go to other people to say, oh my God, give us props for also doing hip hop. But the Ghanaians, one minute, one minute with a song that barely ever left the shores of the country. And now you guys want narrative tax. You want us to come bow to you, to genuflect towards something that you know, both of us, they thief. How? Why? Say the Grammys recognized us. Yes, of course. The Grammys also recognized uh, South African hip hop now. Mm? So you guys should find something else to do with your time. Find a way to put real numbers on the scoreboard. Find a way to to become acclaimed for something that. Uh, that works in this century on a global scale and then we can have another conversation but until then this is just this is just a a filtered version a very a, a filtered version of nami sabi sing pass or you're wearing it a condom now and saying oh my god now we sing pass it's it's annoying at this point have a good day people